everyone, my name is Maria and I like to make technology videos on the internet. Today I thought it would be interesting to talk about why people specifically choose to go into a computer science degree or do a coding bootcamp and which one of them is more worth it based on pros and cons and also how you can change those cons into actual pros. That would be interesting because I've kind of been through all of those types of phases. I've done some coding boot camps kind of and then I'm in a computer science degree currently and I'm also of course a self-taught learner. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get started. So to start off with, I just wanted to talk about who university degrees would be perfect for in computer science and it's mostly people who are probably either going straight out of high school and they want to get a degree like I, I was, so that's why I'm getting a computer science degree or people who possibly want to get a second degree in computer science and for people who might be making like a huge career change they might want to get a computer science degree and why would you do that because well in a when you're getting a degree in from a university you have a set of requirements or a lot of required courses you need to take and being forced to take those courses is a greater form of discipline than you can actually discipline yourself essentially because i know a lot of people they're like oh yeah i'm gonna take this course and this course online but then they never actually end up doing them or they don't stick to a set schedule but whereas in university you're forced to take at least four or five of these courses every semester and you can get through them much quicker and you also have the support of your professors and your peers to get through them and you obviously like to get the degree you have to pass these courses so it's forcing you to do the stuff that you could learn on your own of course so let's talk about some of the pros of going to a university to get a degree in computer science the main pro that i would see is that okay you you don't have to discipline yourself you have the support and mentorship of professors so they are going to be like your guides kind of, like your mentors, you can ask them questions. Even if you're not interested in research, which if you are interested in research, then definitely university is perfect for you. And you can do computer science research, which is very interesting. And you can ask your professors about what they're doing for their research. And, but even if you don't want to, you can use your professor's knowledge because they're probably much older than you are. And you can ask them about their experiences. They've probably traveled around the world to get their like master's degrees and doctorates. Like a lot of people from my university are from all over the world and I can ask them all these questions and use your office hours and take advantage of the opportunity that you have to talk to your professors. So that's what I would say is a great pro of going to a university. Another really good thing about going to a university to get your degree is that you have a way bigger networking opportunity because you have way more events targeted towards your major and you can meet obviously like I said professors and plus you have your peers who are probably going to go off and do really great things or they maybe already are maybe they already have internships so that's a really cool experience to be surrounded by super smart people and if one obviously if you surround yourself with smart people then you're going to get better yourself and also what I really like about being in a computer science major is that you can explore different fields in computer science because not everyone wants to go into specifically backend or software engineering people want to try out different things and you can do that through taking introductory courses and like i said discussing it with your professors because one of them might be specific in computational geometry or one might be in data mining or graph mining and you can discuss with them and talk to them or like even research with them which would be really really interesting and also the best part about being in a computer science major or like software engineering that kind of stuff is that you get internship opportunities and it is much easier to get an internship if you have a school with a co-op program or an internship type of program because that means they already have a partnership with another company or a few companies or a lot and you can use those connections to your advantage which is why a lot of people go to specific universities because they have good internship programs. It's really hard to get your foot in the door for your first or second internship especially, so it's good if your university already has that. That's kind of why you're paying all the money is because they have those connections most of the time. And now let's talk about the cons of going into a computer science degree. Well, it's a lot of time. It takes around three to five years depending on where you're getting your degree from and it might take longer or shorter depending on how many internships you take. A university degree also costs a lot of money and we all know that, but there are a lot of scholarship opportunities, which I found out I had to use a lot of scholarship opportunities in my school because going to university, I definitely wouldn't have been able to afford it unless I had all of those scholarships because I worked really hard in high school to get good grades. I got some entrance scholarships and plus I applied for a lot of scholarships within my school. And a really good point is that, okay, even though school is expensive and even if you can't afford it right away, you can also work, your internships can pay for your school, which is really great. And also what you can do is go to events and in those events, you can find out if 
there are any other like scholarship opportunities because usually like the events that I have gone to, I found out a lot of things that my school doesn't advertise very widely. Like there was even this one guy who, I don't even think he ever went to my school, but he just really liked the engineering and computer science program. And he would like donate money to fund people's educations. If you could give him a reason for why you deserved to get him to pay for your education, which I think is really amazing. And not a lot of people know about these types of opportunities unless you go to those types of events and put yourself out there. And plus you get the bonus of networking and that kind of stuff. So if you're worried about money, which I definitely always am and always have been, you can find opportunities in your university and also find jobs within your university to pay for your education. So it won't be that bad. And additionally, one of the main cons of going into computer science as a major is that it's mostly theoretical. And it's definitely the case that academia is behind industry in terms of technology because it takes a longer time to develop a course. The new technologies come out and people start using them in industry right away. But then a few years later down the line, maybe your university or college is going to actually make a course based on that technology. But what's really great about a computer science degree is that it builds your foundation. It builds your fundamentals and then you can build on top of that. So what's the whole point of doing a computer science degree? It teaches you everything you need to know so that you can actually decide which field you want to start to want to go off into. So it'll teach you about databases, operating systems, object oriented programming, all of these build your foundation. And then you can decide, okay, I want to stack web development skills on top of that or production engineering, like DevOps, that kind of stuff. So if you know the foundation, if you have a strong foundation, which you would get from a computer science degree if you try hard enough, of course, if you don't, if you don't just like skate by, if you actually try hard and learn a lot, then you would have that solid foundation to build anything on top of it. So we'll talk about why coding boot camps, you wouldn't get that foundation. In addition, one of the really, really annoying parts about being a computer science major is that it doesn't teach you how to actually interview for getting a job because there isn't any course of getting an interview or interview prep course. Most interviews in software engineering, they probably require you to know data structures and algorithms. And there are those courses, of course, of course, in university, but then you might not take them before you start applying for jobs, which is annoying. So you have to kind of figure out the prerequisites for all of those courses, do them like really quickly and then do those courses so you can actually get good at interviewing. Or of course you can self teach yourself. But that's like, super annoying because that's what's really annoying about computer science majors because a lot of jobs require you to have those skills whereas in university you learn the theory and then you have to apply that yourself so then while you're struggling trying to pass all your courses and do well in them you also have to learn on the side and be a self-taught learner apply the knowledge and build projects and learn more useful technologies because in school you might be learning non-industry standard technologies possibly or you could be depends where you are and if university that's what really sucks about being a computer science major because it's not like you just have to do your school work like with other majors like with the biology for instance you have to do your own work and you have to do a lot of work and be more disciplined to make your projects and learn a lot more outside of school okay so now let's talk about the pros and cons of going to a coding boot camp and actually i haven't been to a technically coding boot camp but I'm in the dev degree program with Shopify and in the first year it's essentially or the first eight months it's essentially a coding bootcamp style type of learning because you learn a few things like learn this thing for a month this thing for two months and keep going and build projects as well and then it's like okay find get a job basically or interview for a team it's essentially the same thing and also I've been to a coding bootcamp type of well, it was a camp, but it was um, like one or two weeks of learning how to design video games in Unity. And that was really fun. So a similar style is very fast paced. What's really good about going to a coding bootcamp is that it's much cheaper than getting a university degree. And it is faster to complete, of course, because it might range from a few weeks to a few months. The other major pro of going to a coding bootcamp is that your teacher is going to be an industry professional. They are going to be working at one of the companies you probably want to apply for and they will know whatever you're, you need to know for to get into that company essentially. So they're gonna be like your, your foot in the door to get into big tech companies. So it's really cool that you have that opportunity to talk to someone who is an engineer in the field, whereas in university, you're talking to professors who are researchers and they might have been in the field, but maybe that was like 10 years ago or something, you don't know. Another major pro of going to a coding bootcamp is that right away you're gonna get hands-on experience because you're going to be building projects, 
and you can use those on your resume. Whereas in school, you're probably just gonna have some random school assignments and those might not be actual like good projects to put on your resume. And you'll have to, again, do projects on your own using more recent and updated technologies versus in coding boot camps where they make sure that everything is like industry grade and it's all new information and good for you to know. So that's a really good thing. So you're, you're getting your bang for your buck essentially. But the cons of going to a coding boot camp is that you're not getting that fundamental foundational learning. Like you're not gonna learn about all the stuff that you do in a computer science degree. And additionally, it might not be enough time for you to learn everything because even in a computer science degree, say I take four months to learn a course and say I get a B in that course. Okay, I didn't learn it to its fullest extent. That means like if I'm not getting an A plus and if I'm not super sure about how like databases work or something, then that means I didn't learn it fully and I have to try again. I have to continuously practice and it's not, it, so basically sometimes you can't learn something on the first try. That's what I'm trying to say. Like you might have to continuously try to improve and doing that in a short amount of time is really stressful and really hard because especially if you're learning how to code for the first time, which a lot of coding bootcamp people, they are learning how to code for the first time and it is probably very stressful and they ha probably have a lot of pressure on them to learn things really quickly, which I don't think is that good because you shouldn't try to force yourself to learn things quickly because then you're never going to grasp things fully and it's not gonna sink in as, as well as if you focused on that one thing and tried to get good at it and gave yourself time, you know? Another con of going to a coding bootcamp is it's still pretty expensive. Like you can still learn all of these things online with being a self-taught learner. But again, it is good to have the guidance and the mentorship of your teachers and other students who might know a little bit more than you, which makes sense, but it is still really expensive. It's still thousands of dollars, even though there are scholarships as well for coding boot camps that I found, but it's still pretty expensive as well. Okay, so finally, I wanted to discuss how can we turn all of those cons into actual pros and or take them away essentially, just diminish them being cons for both computer science degrees and coding boot camps. Well, one of the things that I mentioned was that you can't really get a grasp of some of the knowledge if you're trying to learn it too quickly. And for that, I would say if you don't get a good mark in a course, or if you think that you only scratch the surface of something in a coding boot camp, then definitely you need to take the initiative to learn things on your own and give yourself some time. But you have to have a plan for this. I don't want you to just be like, okay, I'm gonna get better at JavaScript. You need to actually make a goal, like set, set goals for yourself and be like, okay, I'm going to try to get better at JavaScript and I'm gonna give myself two months for this goal and I'm gonna focus on this one goal. I'm not going to overload myself with a bunch of other things. I'm just gonna get better at JavaScript. I'm going to take a course. I'm going to follow some tutorials on JavaScript. I'm going to build maybe three projects, like make a, make a set goal for yourself. Like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do this week. This is what I'm gonna do that week. And that's the way you're actually going to learn something is when you're putting it onto yourself and you actually make the goal on your own. Because in a coding bootcamp and in a computer science degree, you are just following whatever your teachers are telling you to do. And you're building projects which have specific requirements. And in this case, if you build projects, they're gonna be your own and you're gonna make the requirements for yourself. It'll be way more fulfilling, I think, if you actually do this for yourself. I know it's gonna be really hard to make these types of goals and maybe I'll make a video about this because I've definitely struggled with it, trying to institute new habits into your life because it's kind of hard when you're like, okay, yeah, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna to do this. When it's like, you've never done that before and your life is maybe different every single day. It's like, how do you institute something new? But if you're really interested in getting good at something, then you have to actually become a self-taught learner, essentially. Like that's with everything in computer science. What I'm trying to say is that you can learn it for free, but the problem is you have to be disciplined to do it yourself. Another con that both computer science and coding boot camps have is that they don't teach you how to interview probably for a job. They're, I don't know, maybe coding boot camps do have that and if they do, then that's great. But I doubt that you can learn how to interview within such a short time span. And then in a computer science degree, sure, they teach you data structures and algorithms, but they don't teach you how to actually prepare for interviews, practice these things and learn how to think that way. They teach you about that stuff, they don't teach you how to problem solve and think, but you're gonna have to do that on your own. Either way, no matter which type of education style you like, you're still gonna have to take time and put in the effort to learn how to problem solve and trying to do those leak code questions, taking a course on algorithms online, even if you've done a course before. Like I know people who have done multiple courses in algorithms because 
they still don't feel like they know it or do a specific course on dynamic programming because it's not an easy thing to learn it's something that you have to make time for and just like what i mentioned before you have to actually get better at you have to make a goal for yourself and that's what i've been trying to do like for this specific thing problem solving i've been trying to make a goal for myself and trying to get better at it and trying to institute those habits all right i just wanted to end this video by saying that no matter how you learn to code, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's about your own preference, what you think is best for you. Because honestly, if I had already finished a degree in something else, then I wouldn't want to go back to school and do a whole completely different major. I would probably have gone to a coding bootcamp or just been a self-taught learner, contacted some of my friends who are in computer science, asked them about it. You know, anything is possible if you actually put your mind to it and you set goals for yourself. And you try hard enough either way you're getting a good education no matter which path you choose and i wish you good luck with whatever you decide to go with i hope you keep learning and keep trying new things see you next time bye